Hello, good evening. How are you? Good evening, teacher. Good evening, Tony. How are you? How do you feel today? Very, very fine. Thank yeah, you. Yeah, good. You. I'm good. I'm good. Today is Thursday, so almost the weekend, right? So, yes, I feel good. I feel good. <laughs> okay. So, we have uh, Marian, we have Maurice, we have Wendy, we have Pablo. Um, good evening, guys. Let me see. I'm going to share my screen, okay? Okay, guys. Um, well, welcome once again. This is going to be our um, class number four, right? So today we have different things that we are going to cover. We um, are going to cover, um, I would say, a grammar topic, which is kind of not difficult, but it's complex, all right? So let's start with the agenda. Well, today we are going to start with the warm up and we are going to move to um, one interesting topic, which is success. All right. We are going to start with a video, then we are going to have um, a speaking time for you to discuss with your partners. And we also have listening quizzes. We have two. Then we are going to move to grammar quiz. Uh, the grammar quiz for today is going to be about general knowledge then it is going to be kind of easy as well. And we have the speaking time and we are going to cover adverbial clauses, okay? So let's start with the first thing, uh, which is the warm up, and we are going to play a stop the bus. So a stop the bus is the same as bachillerato stop in Spanish. It's the same thing, okay? So I'm going to give you the letter and you need to look for a verb in past participle, an adverb in a fruit that is start with that letter. Yeah, for example, if we say, um, let's see, letter F. Okay, so a verb in past participle with the letter F. Mm -hmm. Fasten. Okay. Uh, fasten. Okay. Yes. Yes. Now, adverb. Adverb with letter F. Yes. An adverb, adverb with, with the letter F. F. Mm hmm. Mm -hmm. So adverb with the letter S. Nadia va a participar. Yes, they should, right? Mm -hmm. An adverb with the letter F, guys. Okay, Nelly. Huh? Well, let me see. Okay. So we have Wendy. Well, Wendy is going to be as a listener. We also have Miriam. We have Maurice. We have Pablo. We have Raul Jordan. We have Jonathan. We have Carlos Vladimir. We have Roberto. So guys, and Tony. So then... Um, besides Tony, right? Um, who can give us an adverb that starts with the letter F? Fast. Okay, fast. Okay, yes, fast. Yes, that is an adverb of manner. Very good. Now give me a fruit with the letter F. Hmm? Yes. Uh -huh. Mm 
Yes. A fruit? No. No, teacher. I don't know. <laughs> okay. So, guys, how do you say ego? Ego in English? It is fig. F I G. Like pig. But fig. start with F. No. Ego. F I G. Mm -hmm. F. No P. F. Uh -huh. It's the same, like, but that, that is correct. Start with F, no with a P. Yes, that is correct. Mm -hmm. Okay, very good. So now let's move um, to another letter, okay? So mm -hmm. guys, can you please tell me a verb in past participle with the letter S? that starts with the letter S? Sin. Sin. Now give me an adverb. Mm -hmm. so. um, which one, Pablo? Still. Still? Okay, very good. Yes. Mm -hmm. The ones that we covered yesterday, right? And a fruit with the letter S? Strawberry. Strawberry. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right. Another one. Um, okay, so now the last one. Give me a verb in past participle that starts with the letter, let me see, with the letter T. Letter T, 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 as in tomato. Out. Okay, taut, thought, all right. An adverb with the letter T. The letter T. Good evening. Good evening. Let me see. Uh -huh. Taken. All right. Yes. Uh, very good. Today. Yes. That is an adverb when it comes to time, right? Um, we have, uh, for example, three times a week, right? It is an adverb as well. A frequency. Uh -huh. And give me a fruit. Which letter? With the letter T. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. Tangerine, tomato. Tangerine, very good. Tomato, very good. Uh -huh. Okay. Very good. All right, guys. So now let's move. Let's move and let's start with the following, okay? Right now, I need you to please tell me, okay, um, do you remember about the product line? What is a product line? What is it? We have the short explanation right here, right? Roberto Esaú, can you please help us reading this part? Okay, product line. A group of related products that the property sells under a single brand. Yes. Okay, so a product line, as we discussed yesterday, is just a group of related products that a company sells under a single brand. And we have some examples, right? Right here. Yeah. This brand is Acme. Yeah. So they have two product lines. The hair care and the skin care, 
Yeah. So they have shampoo, hair wax, hair gel, hand cream, face cream, and moisturizer. Yeah. So those are two product lines that they have. Okay. Now, let me ask you something. Okay. Can you please mention uh, some famous product line in our country? Huh? Okay, typical food. All right. Now, what is the name? Uh -huh. Uh -huh. The name of, of the, yeah, the brand's name. And so the collection of Okay. All right. So now, mm -hmm. But in this case, remember that the product line, look at this, it is a group of related products that accompany sales under a single brand. And we have the example, we have Acme, right? So they have this product line, which is hair care, and they have the product line, which is skin care. Yeah, so two product lines. Okay, typical food, yes, but which is the, the brand? Huh? Here we have, which is Acme, right? Look at this. And we have some examples as well right here. Bimbo, right? They have the soft white, yes, and the soft wet bread. Mm -hmm. They also have, actually, Bimbo is also the owner of Marinela. They have this type of a snack, which are and, called gansito. And sabritas, too. Sabritas as well. Mm -hmm. You see? Then, in this case... Teacher, could yeah. be industrias la constancia. Correct. Yes. And they, they have... have different, different things. Correct. Alcohol drinks, sodas, mm -hmm. water. Correct. I that have is another a example. example. Okay, Tony. Quesos petacone. Yes. Mm -hmm. And it's national too. That is correct. Type of kids. Um, pro, a lack, uh, dairy, dairy product with yes. different um, rice or, or, or with a, a different type of cheese. And, that and is dairy. correct. Yes. Uh -huh. Okay. Very good. Uh -huh. Any other example that you may have? Uh -huh. Sure. Okay. Avon could be. Yes. Do you have a uh, Shampoo. They have yes. Hair care, skin care. Mm -hmm. They also have clothing, right? Clothing as well. They have uh, kitchen, yes. kitchen items as well. They have a lot of things, right? Um, another brand mm -hmm. uh, in uh, recognized uh, in by. Nivel mundial, quería decir, but, uh, uh, by the world, world is, uh, worldwide. Is, um, yeah, uh, like worldwide is, um, then in the manufacturing of, of um, tejidos or it's y la sal, and uh, with uh, different type of uh, seeds is Bacini's house. Okay. Okay, I didn't know that. Casa Bacini es las, um, las ¿qué? semillas tostadas de todo tipo. Seeds. Mm -hmm. By the consumption. By the yeah. Um, mm -hmm. Maní, cashew. Um, yeah. Peanuts. Different types. Uh, peanuts, exactly. Mm -hmm. Okay. Another famous could be Simán. Ah, Simán, yes. Yes, absolutely. They have different product lines, right? 
A digital reseller is, is like a brand. A yes, they have, um, I mean, Siman has um, many brands and those brands, uh, they have product lines, right? Uh -huh. Yes. Okay. We the can mention cup. a lot of, yes, the coffee cup as well. Well, many companies, right? Many companies. Uh -huh. Okay. Very good. Now let's move. Let's continue. All right. And now, yes, let's start with this. How do you define success? What is success for you? Yeah. What is it? Not the when, concept. Uh -huh. when, you for you, right? when you achieve something. Very good. When you achieve something. Okay. Somebody else. Uh -huh. What is success? How do you define success, you as in the, as an individual? Jonathan are, said, when you are, are the champion. <laughs> when you are the champion, okay. <laughs> yes, could be. Yes, of course, right? Mm -hmm. When you feel good for something. When you feel good for something, okay. Mm -hmm. When you reach your goal. When you reach your goals, okay? Mm -hmm. Okay. Very good. Somebody else? Success. What is success for you? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Nobody else. When you complete, when you complete um, a difficult task. Mm -hmm. yeah. Yes. Okay. When you complete probably a difficult task. Uh -huh. Yeah. Maybe um, sometimes we can probably say that success is also to um, be healthy. Right. When you improve something by yourself. Okay. Very good. When you, maybe sometimes people say, okay, success is to have a lot of money. Success is to have a lot of things, right? Uh, success is to have our family, etc. There are many things that can be success, right? But today we are going to focus on different things about success. Okay, so we're going to start by talking about collocations, Okay. And guys, let me ask you something. Do you know or do you have an idea what a collocation is? What are collocations? Um, this is synonymous of um, search and employee. Uh, search um, for an, for an yes, um, it, it is related to, yes. Okay, but in this case, collocations, the general concept, okay? So collocations are just words that are joined together to form a phrase, but they are always, always, always together in order for us to sound correct. What do I mean by that? If you see right here, we have reach or achieve, and we have an agreement, a goal, and a compromise. So we can say reach an agreement, reach a goal, reach a compromise. Or we can say achieve an agreement, achieve a goal, achieve a compromise. So those are collocations that they have their own partner. So that means that, I mean, you can switch and you can add a different word. For example, fulfill a goal, but that doesn't sound correct. Yes, because fulfill, you can fulfill a dream. You can realize a dream. But you cannot, uh, I mean, when it comes to the word choice, la elección de palabras, we need to say reach 
a goal or achieve a goal. No fulfill a goal, no realize a goal. Because collocations in English are because of, of that, right? To sound correct. There are many actually collocations that we should use, many. And that's why sometimes when somebody evaluates your speaking, they say mm, the word choice. You didn't choose the correct word because of collocation, because it doesn't sound correct. Another collocation could be um, this one, which is make homework that make and do are hacer. And sometimes we say make homework, but that is not correct. It is do homework. So that is a collocation as well. Tony? Teacher, these examples of uh, um, phrases or the word that sounds very well with the, with the, with the, another is when in Spanish you say, uh, no, es, no suena bien, no tiene lógica. Yes. Okay. Uh -huh. Exactly. Correct. Yes. Uh -huh. Cuando decimos exactamente eso, mm, pero esa no es la palabra que quiero, dice. Ok, porque uno sabe que no suena bien, es lo mismo en inglés, right? But in English we need to learn those by heart, right? Mm -hmm. Yes. So we can fulfill a dream. We can realize a dream. We can accomplish an ambition. We can accomplish a goal. We can accomplish uh, a task. Yes. So what is the meaning of reach? Alcanzar. Achieve, lograr. Mm -hmm. Yes. Um, fulfill. What do you think fulfill means? Darse cuenta? No. In this case, fulfill is not darse cuenta. Realizar. 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 Alcanzar. Very good. Alcanzar, completar. Okay, completar completar uh -huh. and in this case uh, realize what is realize uh -huh. realizar realizar uh -huh. um Real okay realize realize wow yes realize i dream yes <laughs> A dream, realizar un sueño, right? Yes. Mm -hmm. Yes, we have many dreams that we want to realize, right? That we want to fulfill. Fulfill puede ser como completar, pero también viene siendo como cumplir un sueño. I want to fulfill this dream. I want to fulfill my dream of studying abroad or I want to fulfill my dream of uh, getting a promotion I don't know right so you want to fulfill a dream you, usted quiere cumplir un sueño cumplir yeah and um, realize would be como realizar realizar um, un sueño convertirlo en realidad right yes Mm -hmm. And what is the meaning of accomplish? Accomplish viene siendo cumplir también. Lograr, alcanzar. Son sinónimos. Those are synonyms. Yes. Okay, those are collocations, guys. Just for you to know about that, right? Of course, this is something that um, it is very, but very, I would say, um, extensive collocations. So there are many, many. And I think that we are going to cover um, this topic one of these days, right? So you can see that we have common collocations that we use every day. Yes, I'm going to I'm going to prepare that okay for you. So now, but let's move. Those are related to the topic of success. Those uh one, two, three, four, five. Those five, okay? Those five are related to the topic that we are going to cover right now, which is about success. 
Yes. So then we also have idioms, right? So what are idioms? What are idioms? It's a phrase that the meaning is different. Okay, it is a phrase which meaning is different from the way that we um, write them down, right? Very good. So idioms, guys, are basically sayings, right? And what are sayings? Sayings are just phrases that we use to express different ideas in a phrase. I mean, in Spanish, we have different idioms. And in, in English, we do have them as well. So here we have idioms about success and failure. Success means éxito and failure means fracaso. Yeah? So now we have the first one. Um, idioms. Idioms. Um, let me mute. Yes. Okay, idioms, Atilio, idioms. Atilio, idioms. help us read in the idioms. Read this. Fe, fe, uh, okay, repeat after this? me. Fight a losing battle. Fight a losing battle. Very good, next. <clears throat> Why flying colors? Repeat after me and say with. Uh, with. Flying colors. With flying colors. Very good. And the last one. On top of the world. On top of the world. Uh -huh. Okay. Very good. So now let's see. Fight a losing battle. What is the meaning of that idiom? It's almost the same as in Spanish. It's almost the same. Mucha una batalla. Um, uh -huh. We, yes, but no. Okay. So, Go. guys, fight a losing battle in Spanish. Basically, no sé si la han escuchado, pero es como decirle eh, cuando uno dice estás luchando eh, como con algo que una no puede ser. Una batalla perdida. Una batalla mm -hmm. perdida, right? Eso es una batalla perdida. Cuando se le algo dice, por gusto. Algo por gusto. Por gusto sería nuestra... No. <laughs> yes, okay. It's like saying por gusto, right? Mm -hmm. um, for example, right? Let's say that um, an example could be I think that talking to them is like fighting a losing battle because they do not pay attention. Telling them about the rules is fighting a losing battle because they do not care. Uh -huh. Yes. Fight a losing battle es como, uh -huh, por gusto. Yeah. With flying colors. What is the meaning of that expression with flying colors? With flying colors is the same as saying standing out. And what is a stand out? A stand out means sobresalir. Yeah. With flying colors, you stand out with distinction. Okay. For example, um, I took the test with flying colors. Como tomé el examen sobresaliendo. That means that you got a very good score. Mm -hmm. mm. You will make that exposition with flying colors. Harás la exposición. Con distinción, que va a sobresalir, que bueno, lo va a hacer sobresaliente. de uh -huh. manera sobresaliente. Flying color. With flying yeah. colors. Teacher, this type yes. of uh, idioms have um, a root or, or uh, they have a 
lo que quiero es decir como que tienen una raíz de, de algo debe de salir ajá Um, yes, um, I think that um, they do have the root, but um, but I'm not really sure which is the root for each one, right? But yes, there is a root for each of them. Uh -huh. Maybe um, I'm trying to understand the the um, the particularity of the phrase. Maybe on the top of the world, when the the first escalators of the Everest make the 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 cim the, the cima la cima or make the top the and top with the with Hillary the the first uh, European that climbs the Everest, I'm in the top of the world. Mm -hmm. I, I am the best. The 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 only one and, and like this the, this type of of uh, um, relation to the to the phrase yes to the item mm -hmm. well, yeah for the idea for you to like comprehend okay yes actually on top of the world is whenever you feel really happy when you are really excited, when you feel extremely glad about something. Mm -hmm. So for example, whenever you have uh, good news and you say, oh my God, I feel on top of the world today. My team did a great job, right? So I feel really happy. Instead of us saying, I feel or we feel really happy, we can say we feel on top of the world. Mm -hmm. On top of the world, right? That you feel really happy. Today, I feel on top of the world, right? Feeling very happy, extremely happy. So idioms are for you to avoid saying adjectives sometimes, right? On top of the world means extremely happy, really glad, right? Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay. So now let's move. Okay, let's move. And right now we are going to have an activity. So I need to be at focus, all right? And pay attention. So we are going to watch a talk by Richard John. Yes. He is going to talk about eight secrets of success. I need you to pay attention to the eight secrets of success. And I need you to please um, get at least five that you consider are the most important for you. Yeah, for you. And then I'm going to request your opinion about the video and about a question that we are going to answer after the video. Okay. So right now, let's pay attention to this video. Let me see. Let me see if we can play it. Okay. So here we go. This is really a two-hour presentation I give to high school students, cut down to three minutes. And it all started one day on a plane on my way to TED, seven years ago. And in the seat next to me was a, a high school student, a teenager, and she came from a really poor family. And she wanted to make something of her life. And she asked me a simple little question. She said, what leads to success? And I felt really badly because I couldn't give her a good answer. So I get off the plane and I come to TED. And I think, geez, I'm in the middle of a room of successful people. So why don't I ask them what helped them succeed and pass it on to kids? So here we are, seven years, 500 interviews later, and I'm going to tell you what really leads to success and makes TEDsters tick. And the first thing is passion. Freeman Thomas says, I'm driven by my passion. TEDsters do it for love. They don't do it for money. Carol Coletta says, I would pay someone to do what I do. And the interesting thing is, if you do it for love, the money comes anyway. Work. Rupert Murdoch said to me, it's all hard work. Nothing comes easily. But I have a lot of fun. Did he say fun, Rupert? Yes. <laughs> Tedsters do have fun working, and they work hard. I figured they're not workaholics. They're work of frolics. <laughs> Good. Alice Garden says, to be successful, put your nose down in something and get damn good at it. There's no magic. It's practice, practice, practice. And it's focus. Norman Jewison said to me, I think it all has to do with focusing yourself on one thing. And push. David Gallo says, push yourself. Physically, mentally, you've got to push, push, push. 
You got to push through shyness and self-doubt. Goldie Hahn says, I always had self-doubts. I wasn't good enough. I wasn't smart enough. I didn't think I'd make it. Now, it's not always easy to push yourself, and that's why they invented mothers. <laughs> Frank Geary. Frank Geary said to me, my mother pushed me. <laughs> serve. Sherwin Newland says it was a privilege to serve as a doctor. Now, a lot of kids tell me they want to be millionaires, and the first thing I say to them is, okay, well, you can't serve yourself. You've got to serve others something of value, because that's the way people really get rich. Ideas. Tedster Bill Gates says, I had an idea. Founding the first microcomputer software company. I'd say it was a pretty good idea. And there's no magic to creativity in coming up with ideas. It's just doing some very simple things. And I give lots of evidence. Persist. Joe Krauss says persistence is the number one reason for our success. Okay. So, and the last one is going to be this one, persist. Now, what do you think about this video? What do you think about the secrets of success? Do you think uh, that is correct or no? In my opinion, uh, I, mean, I think it's very important, this video. <laughs> For example, uh, the focus is very important, very important uh, when we are studying English, for example, and maybe persist is very important too. Okay, all right. So thank you, Jonathan. So in this case, uh, what leads to success? Jonathan says that persistence, right? To be focused, okay. Somebody else, what leads <clears throat> to success? In your opinion. Teacher, <laughs> in my case, uh, uh, persist. Uh, persistence is very important it's why very important uh, because because uh, uh, the the people uh, are uh, persistent in war in study uh, they alcance uh, meta they reach they reach their goals uh, yes mm -hmm. okay. Yes. Uh -huh. Another, Thank another you. could be push yourself. It's very important because sometimes uh, we are tired and yeah. we don't want to receive the the class, but yeah. you, we need to push yourself, and obviously be focused in the class. That is correct. Thank you, Jonathan. Mm -hmm. Okay, somebody else. Teacher, uh, to a uh, passion is very important uh, uh, because if if you love the uh, you you work uh, mm -hmm. the you have with with passion uh, may, uh, where most most. Uh, 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 productive productive okay okay yes mm -hmm. i agree i think i think teacher that the success way is not easy uh, it's required um a combination of qualities a combination of um not only secret and i think that is more than than how to how how Autogestion, mm -hmm. autogestion, uh, mm -hmm. because he say that it's important um, do everything with passion. But mm -hmm. you need to work to make this uh, available, mm -hmm. and you need to stay uh, uh, every day uh, uh, um, persisting. The persistent, but Pers yeah. persistent, persistent, yeah. persistent, the persistence. The persistence to to create the, the success and you need to work every day to be a successful successful lead person yes that is correct uh -huh. yes that is correct you need to work every single day to actually be successful okay autogestion 
self-management. Oh, self-management. Very you. good. All right. So in this case, um, yes, I agree with all of you, right? So um, passion is really important because if you love what you do, you love what you are learning, you are actually are interested in what you do. It says, right, about work, that in this case, you are going to enjoy what you do, right? And at the um, end, yes, you are going to, if we focus uh, on work, you are going to get money easily, right? Because you are going to enjoy what you do and you are going to get money. So passion is required for everything, I think, right? Mm -hmm. Passion, work, work hard, right? And sometimes you need to work smart, right? Mm -hmm. As Jonathan mentioned before, focus, right? You need to focus on different things, enfocarse, focus, right? ¿Y cómo se dice, guys? Uh, enfocarse en? Focus. 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 On. On. Okay. Focus on. Ah, okay. Yes, focus on. Yes, you need to focus on what you are learning, on what you are doing, right? Mm -hmm. Persistence, persist, right? Ideas. Ideas is also something uh, really important when we talk about success, right? Mm -hmm. Yes, of course, right? Uh, good, right? To do everything in a very good way. Push, and you actually listen to what he said, right? Moms were invented, right? Because of that, to push ourselves, right? And serve. Serve is also very important, right? Servir. Yeah, because if you are in a leader position right here, if you are supervisors, if you are team leaders, you need to serve. You need to help people because if you don't help people, so, I mean, you can have the title that you are the boss, that you are the supervisor, but if you don't help, that doesn't matter at the end, right? You need to serve people. That is a key to success. Okay, now let's move and let's um, go to some speaking tips, guys, before we start with the speaking time. Okay, so you can share some of your opinions. Okay, um, uh, Tony, help us reading all of this information, please. Okay, speaking time tips. Don't use big and unfamiliar words. Yes. Use a range of grammatical structures. Don't worry about your, your assent. Mm -hmm. Assent. How think? That's a good point. Let me see. Let me think about that for a minute. I have never talked about that, but let me see. That's a difficult question, but I'll try it and answer it. Mm -hmm. Avoid using fillers, uh, a roll, etc. Mm -hmm. Extend your words, smile, and don't speak in a monotone, very stress and intonation to add emphasis. Very good. Okay, guys, those are some tips for you to use whenever you are speaking, okay? Whenever you are having a conversation with your partner or with somebody else in English and even in Spanish, right? So this one, don't use big and unfamiliar words. What does this mean? It means that sometimes you have probably a synonym for the word that you want to use, right? So use the synonym. Use that word that comes to your mind. Do not look for another one. No. Okay. This is a tip that you should actually take into account. Okay. Try to use synonyms. Yes. Synonyms. Easy synonyms. Okay. Now, use a range of grammatical structures. You already have um, some structures which are really important. Simple present, verb to be, simple past, present perfect, future. You already have that, 
right? Use a range of grammatical structures. Don't worry mm -hmm. about your accent. Yes, I know that sometimes here, probably we have students that are like um, scared of speaking, right? And maybe you say, my classmate speaks better than me. But that's not the purpose of you joining the class. The purpose is you learning. The purpose is you speaking, right? It's not that you find out who has better English than you. That's not the purpose, right? So here, pause to think, right? This is very important. You need to pause to think. But in that pause, you should also say something. If you don't know, you can say, hey, that's a good point. Let me see. Mm, and you start thinking, right? Or let me think about that for a minute. When you don't know something, instead of just keep silence, right? You can say, hey, you know what? Let me think about it, right? Or let me think about that for a minute. Or I have never thought about that. But let me see. Or this one, you know, that's a difficult question, but I will try and answer it. Yes, for you, whenever you have difficulties by right, expressing your ideas, avoid using fillers. This is like muletillas, right? Mm -hmm. um, but in this case, guys, uh, those are, mm, I would say that we need to avoid them. But sometimes it is almost impossible, right? But you need to avoid using fillers. That's why we need to use this. Yes. Extend your answers, right? Try to extend. Try to speak as much as you can. Try to smile, right? Do not speak like in a monotone like way. You need to vary the stress. When you are speaking with your classmates, you need to vary the stress. Even in Spanish, you need to actually um, change the intonation of your speaking, right? That is very important because in our, um, I would say in our language, we are not flat, right? We need to change. We need to um, actually increase or decrease our intonation depending on your emotion yeah those are just basic tips for you to improve speaking yeah so now yes we are going to move and we are going to practice with our partners so we have a couple of questions right here and let's see the first one how do you measure success yeah what part does luck play in success do you think people focus too much on appearing to be successful hmm. okay then we are going to move can money buy happiness maybe you will say yes teacher money is yeah money is very important money can buy happiness or maybe you say, no, teacher, money cannot buy happiness. But it depends on what happiness is for you, right? Because happiness uh, can mean being healthy, or it can mean having your family, or it can mean having a good cell phone, or having a lot of money to travel. I don't know. It depends on what happiness is for you. Is there a right time to uh, stop trying or should you never give up? What do you think about that one? Um, well, it depends, right? Because whenever something turns unhealthy, I think that there is the time where you should give up when that thing becomes unhealthy. But I don't know your I opinion. Think that, mm -hmm. Yeah, I think I, that you never give up, but only you need to change the strategy. 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 Okay, a strategy. Okay, you see? Okay, different opinion. Do you think most people fail before they succeed? Yes or no? Okay, then we are going to move to this one. What is your biggest success in life? I'm pretty sure that you all have success, right? You have been successful at probably many stages in your life. 
So, but what is your biggest success right now? Right? Okay. And someone once said, the two hardest things to handle in life are failure and success. What do you think about this, right? Mm -hmm. I want to hear your opinion. What have you learned from past failures? What have you learned? Because you know you need to learn something from bad things. So what have you learned? Maybe I have learned to be patient, right? To keep a good attitude in bad situations. What about you? What have you learned from past failures? Uh -huh. And then we are going to move to the last one. Is success important to you? Yes or no? Or it doesn't matter. All right. Yeah. So we are going to practice for around uh, a couple of minutes. Okay. With your partners, please open the class. And we are going to talk about those questions, okay? Try to speak as much as you can. And if you have questions, let me know, okay? So here we go. Um, if you cannot join the rooms, if you want, you can stay here in the main room so I can see the ones that are participating. Um, and if you cannot participate, it's okay. Just stay here, okay? No entro nadie. Nobody. Okay. Robert. Okay. Well, I'm going to move you. I'm going to move you again. Hello. Yes. Uh, okay. <laughs> you how do you um Mr. is a synonym that, that 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 you can mark uh, a point of of start and and point of end it's like like a ruler when you um, measure the the um, the squares or, or something is is a is a is a medir? like like how do you measure the the success? Yes. With I think that with the goals that I achieve because. Explain what each job. Okay. Mm -hmm. Um. It's how do you measure success? Yes. Uh, how? In my case, um, with each experience of each job. Okay, with the experience, okay. Experience. Emerson? In my case, we I usually do it taking a, in account okay. the time it is taken to do something. Okay, could be okay. best for do. Okay, the time invest uh okay. to do to do things. To do. To do. Yes. To do things. Yes. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yes. Very good. And what part does luck play in success? Um, in my case, uh, 
is is not loot is discipline um perseverance die um be dies no day be day day by day a uh, day by day yes okay mm -hmm. okay and you emerson i think uh the looks don't have more importance because if you have a ability for do it things do it things you can go okay all right <laughs> all right and do you think people focus too much on appearing to be successful nowadays on social media or mm -hmm. yes uh, not not our people but i have see some that do focus too much yes yes that is correct well, nowadays, I think that yes, right? Because we already have like different platforms that we can use to show everything that we reach, right? So sometimes people focus too much on appearing to be successful. And can money buy happiness for you guys? No, really. Not really? In Why opinion, not? In my opinion, no, really. Because the money... With the money you you can buy everything, but don't give him the happen happiness. It doesn't give happiness. Doesn't give happiness. Mm, okay. What do you think, Atilio? Can money buy happiness? Mm, I agree what you say, um, Emerson. But let me ask you something, okay? Emerson. Well, I'm my cast. Okay. Don't, don't buy it. That I simply think that may use happy. No. Uh, happiness? Mm, happiness, yes. Yes? Mm. yes. Okay, okay, so, but but okay, Atilio, can money buy happiness, yes or no? No. No, okay, but let me ask you, okay, this is just an example, let me ask you, let's say that you don't have any money to buy food. Um. Are you going to feel happy or sad? What do you say are gonna be uh good uh good deal? Uh -huh. If uh, you don't have deal. yeah, if you don't have money to buy food to eat, are you going to feel happy or are you going to feel sad? What do you say are gonna business? Sometimes. Uh, sometimes, sometimes, yes, sometimes not. <laughs> okay, you understand? Really? really? Okay. Well, I think uh, the money is relative. So, yes, it is true that you can buy a lot of things. Okay. But the happiness also came from the growing as a person. Okay, uh huh. Mm, okay, so you think that uh, in this case is relative, it's not like it is like yes or no, it can be in the middle. Uh huh. Okay, Mommy, it is, it is, the medio in the middle, in the middle for the. To do, to do. To do, 
but no, it is a matter for to keep the goal. Okay. All right. Mm -hmm. Okay. And do you think that is there a right time to stop trying or should you never give up? Yes, mm -hmm. yes, um, because they are of of, of failure. Um, what caso? Failures, failures, failures before trying it. Okay. Mm. Okay, is there a right time to stop trying then? Yes, because there are failures, okay? And you, what do you think, Emerson? The same. Sometimes it's, it's difficult to try the... Give it up. The hurdle. Ah, okay, yes. It's difficult to, um, like, to give up. It's difficult to live it, like, to give up because when when we put the focus on the goal is in in this case no complete that goal okay you feel in uh, deception disappointment that is correct very good Emerson I agree on that I agree on that. Yes, I think that you are correct. You feel disappointed. Yes, absolutely. Okay. Do you think most people fail before they succeed? Do you think that that is common or no? Huh? I think it's, it's most common what we know. Mm -hmm. For example, the, the biggest um, um, emprendedores who uh -huh. grand the leaders. Oh, the, the big leaders. Big leaders, same sometimes, mm -hmm. always fall trying to do it. Do it for good her ideas. Okay, uh -huh. that is correct. Okay, you know the 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 um, the inventor, the one that actually invented the light bulb, Edison. Um, I don't know the Steve name. Steve Jobs. No, uh, Thomas Edison. Ah, uh, Edison. Yes, Edison. Thomas Edison. Yes, Thomas Edison. Right, he was the 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 inventor, the creator. Right, so he created the light bulb. And how many times, how many attempts did he need to create it? Do you know? Yes. One thousand. Yes. One thousand times, and he said there is um, he said the light bulb was an invention with one thousand steps. So he didn't see the the failures as failures, right? So he said the light bulb was an invention with one thousand steps. Imagine. That is something yeah. good because you could see the good in the bad, right? Uh -huh. Yeah, so people fail before they succeed. Always. Yes, always. Okay, let's... Now, think about this, okay? What is your biggest success in life? What is your biggest success right now? In my case, have a my own house. 
Very good. This is my big, biggest success in my life. Excellent. Uh -huh. Having my own house. Very good. And you, Atilio? Your okay. biggest success. Okay. Uh -huh. uh, I was the second place in Central America. Um, really? Uh, how do you say vendedor? Uh, seller? Seller. Yes. Oh, really? At work? Yes. At work. Uh, 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 anterior. Ah, oh, in my previous job. In my really job, yes. In my previous, previous. Previous, previous, previous yes. Job. In my previous job. Okay. Mm -hmm. That's good. Okay. Yes. Mm -hmm. Okay. Now, someone once said the two hardest things to handle in life are failure and success. What do you think? Do you think that are the hardest things to handle in life? Failure and success? I think the the hardest is the fail. Failure. Because the fails, we can learn to the the errors. Er we can try to do, do it again. Okay. Okay. Mm hmm. Okay. So the hardest to handle are failures. 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 Mm -hmm. And you, Atilio, what do you think? Oh, okay. It's, um, they did not help me to improve it on oh, how more experience. 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 Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay. And what have you learned from past failures? What have you learned? Huh? Uh, not, not to commit it again. Oh, not to commit it again. Yeah, to commit it again, yes. Mm -hmm. And you, Emerson, what have you learned from past failures? Mm -hmm. Taking more care of me, the complicated situation. Take a breath and do it again. Okay. Very good. Yes, I think that, well, of course, right? Okay, so let me see. It's already, yes. Let's go back to the main room. Okay, let's go back. Let's go. Okay. Yes. Bye bye. Bye bye. Okay, guys, so let's wait for the other ones to join. Okay, I think that we are all here. Let me see. No. Yes, now yes. Nos cortó el chambre, teacher. I'm sorry, okay. Yes, yeah. I, teacher. <laughs> I couldn't I couldn't found the I couldn't find the correct words to, oh uh, to, to express give my opinion. Yeah. <laughs> okay, Alida, I'm sorry, guys. Okay, so, all right, I'm going to take the attendance, okay, because I haven't oh, okay. taken it yet. Okay, yeah. um, Aleida Esmeralda. Present, teacher. Thank you, Atilio Ernesto Castillo. Present, teacher. Thank you, Carlos Omar Linares. Present, teacher. 
Thank you. Carlos Vladimir Rodriguez. Present teacher. Thank you. Daisy Elizabeth Recinos. Daisy Elizabeth. Eduardo Franco Núñez. Eduardo Franco. Present teacher. Thank you. Emerson Present. Monroy. Thank you. Present Miss. Thank you. Jonathan Jose González. Present. Yes. Uh, Jorge Antonio Sánchez Quiñones. Present teacher. Thank you. Jose Bernardo López Montes. Jose. No. Juan Antonio Elías Flores. Present teacher. Thank you. Juan José Herrera Alvarenga. Present teacher. Thank you. Carla Sofía Argueta Chévez. Present. Yes. Kenia Elizabeth Rodríguez Celaya. Kenia? No? Okay. Marian Scarlett Rodríguez Luna. Luis Miguel Corbera Enríquez. Luis Miguel. Luis. No. Mauricio Antonio Velázquez. Yes, thank you, Maurice. Nelly Lilibeth Andrade. Eh, Pablo Adalberto Abrego. Present. Yes, thank you. Raúl Antonio Jordán. Present. Yes. Um, Roberto Esaú Celaya. Present. Thank you. Sandra Abigail Bonilla. Present. Thank you, Sandra. Tatiana Yvonne Torres. Present, Miss. Thank you, Tatiana. Wendy Maricela Ramirez. Present, teacher. Thank you. Wilbert Jonathan Bautista. Yes, I saw Wilbert. Let me see. Nelly. Okay. Um, okay. All right. Um, let's move and let me ask you guys, can money buy happiness? Yes or no? And why? Teacher, I, I think the money cannot buy the happiness, but the money is very important to to buy a, a food, customer, a uh -huh. house, and, and if you have uh, if you have need uh, to 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 pues, uh, poner uh, uh, a business uh, entrepreneur, entrepreneur, do you have uh, do you have money? Okay, okay, but okay. So, in your opinion, Carlos, can money buy happiness? Yes or no? Yes. <laughs> Okay. Yes. All right. Okay. Mm -hmm. In my opinion, teacher, is depending on the, uh, the point of view. Mm -hmm. Because, uh, for example, in my case, I feel happy, happy with my family, with my mom, my father. Uh, but I think the money is very important too, because mm -hmm. you can buy something with you can. Uh, fix your car, for example, or maybe you you enjoy your money travel to another country, or maybe uh, in our country you can visit different places, mountain, beach. Okay. I think both are very important. Okay, all right. Um, okay, guys. So, anybody else? With a different opinion? Teacher. Yes. I think for me, um, money mm -hmm. cannot buy the happiness because mm -hmm. the happiness is a, it's a feeling, it's, a, it's a, a state or moment in your life. So you cannot buy that feeling. That's it's very clear for me. Mm -hmm. But it is important to buy the things that we need um, 
to live uh, well, to to live with healthness, to live with uh, to create these moments, mm -hmm. maybe to uh, buy full, uh, to buy a travel and no another country, mm -hmm. uh, to buy many things that we really need in life, but okay. in in fact happiness cannot cannot buy money cannot buy happiness okay all right mm -hmm. to visit other countries okay visit no no uh, sorry visit. okay visit very good okay aleida mm -hmm. tony the happiness is not, is not um comparable how do you say it's not buyer? uh contable countable comparable de comprar. Oh, okay. Um, buy, buy it or buy it. You cannot buy it. You, um, you cannot buy the, the happiness. The yeah. same that Alida uh, said. Yes. Uh, it's it's a, a state of mind. But in the life, is not comfortable with money. Mm. Uh, the money um, uh, make more easy. Um, Easier? Uh, Mm -hmm. easier mm -hmm. um, or comfortable your life uh, with different um, options like an example mm -hmm. are you feeling so sad or or um, or or bad with this heat with this uh, weather mm -hmm. the most possible that you feel bad but if you have an air conditioner you feel better mm -hmm. it's not your happiness but you have a more comfortable comfortable space to work mm -hmm. to live or to do something but uh, that is the case the happiness is in a state of mind not uh, a, a physical realize of, of, of something and in yeah. this case the money is uh, a, is the way to make more comfortable your life more comfortable to life. make it yeah more comfortable all right mm -hmm. yes well i think that in but okay if happiness is a state of mind we need to create sometimes that a state of mind right and as you mentioned before yes um at the end i think that money can buy happiness at the end yes because let's say that if you don't have money to eat I mean, you won't feel happy because you won't be able to satisfy that necessity, that need, right? So at the end, I think that money buy happiness at some point. Money, it, it, it's like a, a tool. Mm -hmm. Yes. Well, okay. Um, now, guys, do you think most people fail before they succeed? Uh -huh. Uh -huh. What do you think about that? Uh, what uh, do you think most people fail before they succeed? They succeed. Like huh? Yes, I think yeah, absolutely yes. Because uh, everybody that uh, reach their goals, see, first uh, they fail in, in, in the life. Mm -hmm. Because I think that the to be to be succeeding in your life, mm -hmm. you you have to to fail in in, in your life. Okay. Because you, you can teach to every fail to in a moment uh, to be success. Okay. Um, in this case, each failure can teach you. Mm -hmm. okay. Yes. Okay. Um, all right. We were talking to um, one of your um team members here guys um do you know 
the um yes the person that invented the light bulb who was the person that invented the light bulb the light can you bulb? can you write this yes light light bulb yes let me let me send it light bulb ah okay thomas edison okay very good how many times did he fail maybe 99 times nine 99 or 100 some um, a lot of times a lot of times mm -hmm. okay mm -hmm. all right so if we look for that information he failed 1000 times and somebody asked him right how did it feel to fail 1000 times how did it feel to fail 1000 times and he replied i didn't fail 1000 times the light bulb was an invention with 1000 steps you see so sometimes is the way that we actually see things right uh -huh. we need to have the opportunity to see the failure as a way um, for us to learn to grow right and with that let me ask you something this one okay what have you learned from past failures what have you learned experience the experience okay mm -hmm. different way to to not do it this this accomplishment or do to do to don't do it this task okay to be more Teacher, uh, mm -hmm. uh, yes. uh, persistent be persistent be persistent okay persistent yes i think that we learn uh, okay maybe i'm going to say um, many times this word but for me everybody and every day uh improve something to ourselves and for every failure that you have you learn a uh, a different way to uh, to um, I forgot uh, to reach the Your goal. goal. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I yes. think that you can learn uh, what you don't have to do. Exactly. Yeah. What you have to do in in the uh, and other signs that you try uh, do it better correct absolutely uh -huh. very good no. okay in my case, me, in my case uh, not to do this something okay not to do something again yes learn from your mistakes right uh -huh. very good okay in the last question, okay, is success important to you? Mm -hmm. Is success important to you? Yes or no? In my opinion, yes, sure. It's very important to su success in you in the life. I think when you achieve something, you feel good and you want to, to achieve another thing. That's why I think it's, it's like the reason of the life, I think. Mm -hmm. Yes, I think that, the, uh -huh. yeah, I agree with you. I agree. You challenge yourself and when you notice that you are able to do it, so then you challenge yourself again, right? with a big thing 
and so on, right? And then you feel, um, I mean, you feel proud of yourself, right? And you say, hey, you know, I, I can do this, right? So I want something big. And you start challenging and challenging yourself and you start growing. Yes, very good. Okay, guys. So now let's move and let's move to the listening time, okay? So we are going to take the first listening. Um, okay, let me share the sound. Okay. Um, so if you are on the spreadsheet, um, please open the listening quiz four. Listening quiz four. And if you are not there, there you go. And the passcode is listening, capital letters, okay? It is going to be the same passcode for all of the listening exams that we will have along the course, right? So let's try to take this exam for the ones that are able to, right? Please open the quiz and let me know once you are in. Yes. Okay. Let me know once you are in. I'm going to play it, this recording two times only. This one two times. Okay. Yes. Okay. Let's see. Yes. Two the times. These are difficult. It's so hard. <laughs> okay. Let's see if you encounter this one. Difficult, okay. Mm, okay, here we go. Here we go. Okay. Hey, Phil, have you ever been to a Japanese public bath? I hear it's quite an experience. Yes, and what an experience. What do you mean? Well, it's nothing like visiting a swimming pool in the States. Well, what do you do when you go to a public bath? First, you take off your shoes before you enter. Okay. Then you pay an entrance fee to the man or woman at the front counter. Mm -hmm. Next, you get undressed in the dressing room, and I was very surprised and a little embarrassed to see that the woman who took my money was sitting on a platform where she had a clear view of the men's side of the dressing room. Really? This allows the workers to keep an eye on the patron's belongings while they're in the bath. Wow. And do you wear a bathing suit or something? Oh, no. You don't wear anything. Then you go into the main bathing area and wash your body while sitting on a small stool about 40 centimeters high. On a stool? Yeah. It was really hard getting used to bathing in that position. Sometimes even people wash each other's backs. Oh, really? So what do you do after that? Well, after you've rinsed off all the soap, they usually have two or three large baths where you can soak for a while. Do you actually share the bath with other people? Yeah. Traditionally, the bath played an important role in the community. It gave neighbors an opportunity to socialize while bathing. Huh. Interesting. When you're all done bathing, people relax in the dressing room by watching TV, drinking tea or juice, or talking to friends. It's quite an experience. Hello. Yes. Okay. The second time, guys. Okay. Here we go with the second time. Yes. Okay. I think that, you know, it's going to rain. Well, okay. Here we go. Hey, Phil, have you ever been to a Japanese public bath? I hear it's quite an experience. Yes. And what an experience. What do you mean? Well, it's nothing like visiting a swimming pool in the States. Well, what do you do when you go to a public bath? First, you take off your shoes before you enter. Okay. Then you pay an entrance fee to the man or woman at the front counter. Mm -hmm. Next, you get undressed in the dressing room, and I was very surprised and a little embarrassed to see that the woman who took my money was sitting on a platform where she had a clear view of the men's side of the dressing room. Really? This allows the workers to keep an eye on the patron's belongings while they're in the bath. Wow. And do you wear a bathing suit or something? Oh, no. You don't wear anything. Then you go into the main bathing area and wash your body while sitting on a small stool about 40 centimeters high. On a stool? Yeah. 
it was really hard getting used to bathing in that position. Sometimes, even, people wash each other's backs. Oh, really? So what do you do after that? Well, after you've rinsed off all the soap, they usually have two or three large baths where you can soak for a while. Do you actually share the bath with other people? Yeah. Traditionally, the bath played an important role in the community. It gave neighbors an opportunity to socialize while bathing. Huh. Interesting. When you're all done bathing, people relax in the dressing room by watching TV, drinking tea or juice, or talking to friends. It's quite an experience. Okay. All right. Let me see your scores. I want to travel to Japan. Japan. <laughs> you want to travel to Japan? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> yes, right. Sounds interesting. Okay. Let's see. Mm, okay. Very good. <laughs> yes. Let me see. Okay. All right. Oh. Very good. Well, I can see that some of you got 100, okay? Some of you got, uh, got 80, but it's okay. I mean, okay. Let's say the second one, okay? Let's take listening quiz number five. Yes, the second quiz. So there you go. And the passcode is the same, okay? Listening, the same passcode for all of the listening practices. <laughs> okay, here we go. The same thing. Two times, okay? Two times. Okay, ready? Well, yes. All right, here we go. In this video, Aubrey, let's talk about the benefits and dangers of credit cards because I think a lot of people secure a card, use a card. It may benefit their lifestyle, but it could cause unneeded, let's say, damage to their financial situation. For you, when you think about the benefits and dangers of credit card, what would they be? Yeah, so I mean, credit cards can definitely be useful. Like if you have the discipline, you know, to pay them off regularly. Um, if you've got a good card with good rewards, you know, it can definitely be useful. But on the other hand, it's a trap, right? Because <laughs> it's so easy. Like if you're someone like me, and if you can't see the money, then it doesn't exist, right? Okay. So it's so easy to just spend. And then the next thing you know, you're $5,000 in debt. Um, but it's definitely dangerous. But on the other hand, you know, I don't want to close my cards because, you know, what if I have an emergency? You know, yeah. I could have like a $3,000 emergency and not have that money in my savings account because um, I only have about a thousand in there right now. And so if I have a $3,000 emergency, I need to be able to pay that. Like if my dog gets hit by a car, I don't want to have to worry about that. Like right. future me can pay for that. <laughs> you know, I want to be able to take care of that. So I mean, definitely pros and cons there. All right. Well, thank you for sharing some of those ideas. Okay. Here we go with the second oh time. Oh my gosh. Okay. Here we go. In this video, Aubrey, let's talk about the benefits and dangers of credit cards because I think a lot of people secure a card, use a card. It may benefit their lifestyle, but it could cause unneeded, let's say, damage to their financial situation. For you, when you think about the benefits and dangers of credit card, what would they be? Yeah, so I mean, credit cards can definitely be useful, like if you have the discipline you know, to pay them off regularly. Um, if you've got a good card with good rewards, you know, it can definitely be useful. But on the other hand, it's a trap, right? Because <laughs> it's so easy. Like if you're someone like me, and if you can't see the money, then it doesn't exist, right? Okay. So it's so easy to just spend. And then the next thing you know, you're $5,000 in debt. 
Um, but it's definitely dangerous. But on the other hand, you know, I don't want to close my cards because, you know, what if I have an emergency? You know, yeah. I could have like a $3,000 emergency and not have that money in my savings account. Um, cause I only have about a thousand in there right now. And so if I have a $3,000 emergency, I need to be able to pay that. Like if my dog gets hit by a car, I don't want to have to worry about that. Like right. future me can pay for that. <laughs> you know, I want to be able to take care of that. So I'd be mean, definitely pros and cons there. All right. Well, thank you for sharing some of those ideas. Don't it. Okay. Very good. Let me see. Okay. Very good. I can see that. Um, Oops. Okay. Okay, don't worry. Okay. All right. So now let's take but the grammar general knowledge quiz. Not the listening six, but the grammar general knowledge quiz. Okay, this one is about some different things that um don't worry. Okay, so that we must know, okay, about English uh grammar. Yeah, things that you already know, simple present tense. Yeah. The passcode is English 2023. It is going to rain. Okay, guys, so for this quiz, um, we are going to have time, let me see. Yes, we will have a minutes.
seen it. Okay, thank and you. As, and as always, failing in one. <laughs> <laughs> okay. All right. Okay, let me see if most of you finished. Yes. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay, guys. Okay, well, let's move and now let's uh, work on the grammar part, okay? All right, um, I already saw your scores, okay? Um, just be careful, remember that after two, we need to add the base form of the verb and no ing, okay? After four, yes, we need to add ing, okay? So right now we are going to start with uh, grammar, and the topic that we are going to uh, start covering today is the following, which is adverbial clauses, okay? Adverbial clauses. So guys, before, um, before starting, I would like to know if you remember covering verbs and adverbs in this case, adverbs. Do you remember covering adverbs? No, no. If you make no, an example, sure. please. Yes. Um, adverbs, uh, we have different type of adverbs, okay? For example, adverbs yeah. of manner, adverbs of time, adverbs of place. Um, for example, every day, sometimes, from time to time, uh, whenever, whatever. Yeah, from time. Uh, okay. All right. I think that probably you you haven't covered uh, that grammar part, right? But probably you know those words, right? But you don't know that are adverbs. But those are adverbs, okay? All right. So we're going to start by talking about adverbial clauses. And what is a clause? Guys, when we say clauses, um, in order for us to make it, I would say, easier, Clauses are sentences, okay? So basically sentences that have adverbs, okay? So we are going to start by asking you, okay, what is adverb clause? Well, in this case, an adverb clause is a group of words that contains, what do you think? What do you think an adverb clause contains? Uh -huh. An adverb. An adverb. Yes, an adverb. So now, in this case, we have examples. Just think about what you imagine goes in the space in blank. She felt good. When could be very good when she was shopping. That is an adverb of time, right? When when she was shopping, time. Very good. She felt good when she was shopping. Now number two, she has a space. She has spent a lot. She felt guilty. Always. Always. Mm, 
No. <laughs> what is when? Yes, maybe. When is. teacher? If okay, when okay, when when she has spent a lot, she she felt guilty. If she has spent a lot, she felt. In this case, we cannot add if because um, it it, it is not a conditional sentence. Okay, it should be if she has spent. It should be in present, right? This is past and past, so no, cannot be a conditional sentence. But okay. Uh, when she spent a lot, she felt guilty. Or because she spent a lot, she felt guilty. Right? Reason. Yeah? All right. Okay. So now, let's move. Which time adverbs do you remember? Which time adverbs? Okay. Okay. All right. Which time time adverbs do you remember? Any idea? Time adverbs? When? Okay. When? Yes. Um, Where? After? Okay. Very good. Before, before? Before. Very good. Excellent. Okay. So we have while, which is very common as well. While went right after right before before after of course there are many other ones there are a lot yes but just for us to start like understanding those are time adverbs time adverbs that they help us to join ideas to join clauses and what are clauses are sentences yes as the examples we added when so those two clauses were joined by an adverb which was when okay so now let's move okay adverbial clauses there are other clauses of time, which are the ones that we are going to cover, because that is the information that we need to cover it right now. We also have adverb clauses of reason. Okay. We have adverb clauses of purpose, adverb clauses of comparison. And there are many other ones. Many other clauses. Okay. Now, we are going to start one by one. Yes, one by one. And, okay, guys. These adverbial clauses answer the question when. Okay, and we have after, as soon as, before, by the time, once, since, Till, until, till and until, they are the same. Till is informal, okay? Informal and until is formal, okay? When or while, and we have whenever. Teacher, the option that till and until is when is, is, um, is the same case that you say cause and because. The same thing. It's an it's a it's a contraction of the it, of the word. Correct. Okay. When, when. Yes. Yes. Mm -hmm. And we have the examples, right? Do you know the meaning of all of them? Or no? Mm -hmm. or, or do you have any question about the meaning of the ones That's that are the time. By the time? Yes. Okay. So, what is the meaning of by the time? Does somebody know? By the time? In a the same, when you say that time. Okay. 
or in that moment? In that moment, very good. Synonyms, in that moment or at that moment, right? En ese momento, para ese entonces, by the time she was eight, okay? Uh -huh. Cuando ella tenía ocho, right? Para ese momento, en ese momento que ella tenía ocho años. Yes, by the time. Es como decir, para ese entonces. Uh -huh. By the time. Any other one that you don't understand? No? Okay. So, Jonathan. When, yeah, Roberto Esau. Uh, whenever. Whenever? Yes. In what case, for example, because it's when, when, right? Yes. Whenever. Yes. Okay. Um. Does somebody know what is whenever? No. Any idea of whenever? Always lock your car whenever you leave it. In any time, maybe. It's like when, when. Yes, Ali. Uh huh. Yes. Eh, a cualquier, en cualquier momento. Siempre y cuando, right? Okay. Siempre y cuando. Okay. Siempre y <laughs> cuando, <laughs> right? Yes. Okay. <laughs> Or any time, as Jonathan mentioned before. Siempre, okay? okay. Siempre. But uh, it is referring a, a, al tiempo, right? So always lock your car. Siempre. Lock your car. Okay? Siempre. Uh -huh. Echa llave a tu carro. Siempre. Ajá. Eh, echa llave a tu carro. Siempre. Cuando lo de. O siempre, en realidad siempre, solo se dice como siempre. Siempre y cuando, pero usted lo puede interpretar. Whenever. And can I say just always lock your car when you leave it? Yes. Yes. Lo puede decir así. Pero whenever, it's more vocabulary. Uh -huh. Okay, um, Aleida, can you please help us reading the first three, then Raúl Jordán, the other three, and Jonathan, the last three, the example. Okay. Mm -hmm. okay. After I walk back, after, I walk back after work every day. The baby can cry as soon as he is born. It's most unlikely that he'll arrive before seven. By the time, by the time she was eight, she could read Greek and Latin. Once, the receptionist recognized him at once. Mm -hmm. Signs, the rain has been continuous since this morning. Mm, okay, since, yeah. Till, until, let, let's wait till the rain starts. When or while he kept in touch with us while he was on vacation. Mm -hmm. Whenever, always lock your car whenever you, li you leave it. Okay. Very good. Uh, just pronunciation of this one, since. Okay, since, since, since. Mm -hmm. Okay, so right now we are just uh, checking vocabulary, okay? Just for you to probably um, get the idea, okay? But those are adverbial clauses, okay? For time, 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 yes? Now we also have adverb clauses of reason. And we have just three. Uh, okay, let me see. Help us reading this information, George. Adverbs clauses of reason. This adverb 
clauses answer the question why. As we ask Philip to come with us as he knew the role. Because don't say sorry because we never mind. Since, since you are unable to answer, perhaps we should ask someone else. Okay. Very good. Um, okay, guys. What is the meaning of ask? Whenever we say, um, well, whenever we use it as a reason. We asked Philip to come with us as he knew the road. Uh -huh. You know, ask means the same as because. Uh -huh. Is it the like, is the adverb uh, like? Like? Yes. Mm, but like. that one, yes, oh. yes. But the like is not an adverb. We use it for comparison. But yes, you are right. We also use as and like, but in a different context. Okay. But this one, as, is right now, okay, right now, because as has many usages, tiene muchos usos. But right now, with the adverb, it means because. Mm -hmm. But we also have as and like for comparison. But that one is about comparison. But this one is about clauses of reason. Mm -hmm. Okay, so we have as, that means because, and since, ya que. Since, uh, it means, significa desde, en el presente perfecto, pero en este contexto como adverbio, ya no significa desde, significa ya que. Okay. Uh -huh. Ya que usted no puede ir a pagar, entonces llame a servicio al cliente. ¿Cómo diríamos eso? Ya que usted no puede ir a pagar al banco, entonces llame a servicio al cliente. Since you, Since you are not available to yeah. pay, you need to go to the call center or the client ah. service. Entonces, call since... Center. Yes, ya no significa desde, sino que lo interpretamos como ya que. Ok. Uh -huh. Yes. Ok. Yes, teacher, uh, the, the informal way to, to say because can be cause. Cause. Ok. That is correct. Ok. Just because of the time, I think that we are going to stop right here about this information. Of course, tomorrow we still have a lot of information to cover about adverb clauses, right? If you want, you can go ahead and study this information that we have, right? Yes, because we have mm, a lot of information right there, okay? So if you want and if you have the time, just read it. What you can see right there and tomorrow we are going to continue with this topic okay? okay so right now we are going to stop right here just because of the time the only person that please stay with me is going to be let me see um carlos vladimir are you there Vlad no hello he's here Okay, uh, yes. Yes, yes, yes. Yes. So, Carlos Vladimir, can you please stay with me? Yes. Okay, perfect. Then the other ones, guys, thank you very much for being responsible and connecting today. I'll see you back tomorrow. I hope you have a good night. Take care, okay. guys. See you tomorrow. See you tomorrow. Bye-bye. Bye-bye, guys. Bye. Rest. Yes, Bye. thank you, guys. Okay. Um. All right. So, Carlos... Teacher, yes. Uh, I I have a question. Yes, Karen. Tell me. A mí no me he mencionado en la lista. Uh 
No sé si estaré o... Karen. Sí. Karen, right now? Vaya, voy a revisar Karen. Mm, no, Karen. No me aparece. No. Vaya, pero le voy a tomar el nombre completo. Déjeme, déjeme anotarse, ¿ok? Karen, Janet, Granados. Y... Ayer se conectó. Sí. Y el día, ¿toda la semana se ha conectado o...? No, el primer día sí no me conecté porque vine tarde del trabajo, la verdad. Entonces no pude. Ayer y hoy sí, ya, pero no, no me he mencionado. Ok. Bye. No se preocupe. Yo voy a, a reportar esto, ¿ok? Ok. Thank you, teacher. Thank you. Thank you. Ok. Good night. Good night, teacher. Ok. Carlos Vladimir, are you there? Yes, teacher. Ok. Carlos... Um, okay, so you know the feedback is for us to talk a little bit about you, right, and your expectations. I would like to know about um, if you have studied during this period of time that we didn't have classes, right? So what do you think about this module? Um, how do you feel with the, with the class, with the group, right? And all of that information. I would like to know about your opinion, Carlos. Okay, teacher, in this model is very important for me because is to improve uh, new vocabulary, mm -hmm. to, in, to learn to speak fast English mm -hmm. because it, I need to uh, more practice my speaking because uh, I think that I is necessary to to practice more in my case because I have uh and, and sometimes uh, I was driving mm -hmm. I taking a uh, uh, the class okay e ese me vuelve problema porque mm -hmm. casi me quedo me quedo un poco atrás Okay. Okay. Um. All right. So yes, I, I understand that part. Uh, but let me ask you. Okay. Do you practice um alone? I mean, do you try to practice with yourself? And sometimes, teacher, mm -hmm. because when I have have a homework and to review the videos, uh, the the class videos. Yes. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. Okay. Yes. Um, okay. Yes. And and sometimes I think that is difficult because of work, right? Yes. Mm -hmm. Okay, Carlos. Well, first of all, um I, I would like to say that um I feel very happy because you are continuing learning, right? So you continue with the second intermediate module. Right, which is very important, very good. Yeah. I know that sometimes can be, as you mentioned before, kind of difficult for you to be like present, right? To be focused on the class. I know that it could be kind of difficult for you sometimes, but what I can recommend you is that whenever we have the speaking time, you can probably um, participate a little bit more and express your ideas. Because just yes. in that way, you are going to improve your fluency. Because if our purpose is you improving your fluency, so we need to participate whenever we have the chance to do it, right? Thank so, you. yes, yes. Um, I would like to uh, mention that. Okay, very good. I think that, um, you know, this module is very interesting. And, and you will see that it is a little bit um, more complex than the previous one because of the new okay. vocabulary because of the new grammar you will see so if you are able to probably be focused during the grammar part as well try to be focused because it it is going to be really important okay yes. so yes then um okay so what have you done today let me ask you a couple of questions okay what have you done today can you tell me Three things that you have done today. I don't understand. Okay, don't worry. So 
um, listen to my question, okay? Yes. What have you done today? Tell me three things that you have done today. Present perfect. What do you mean? Yes. Mm -hmm. Okay. I have a. Uh, Mm -hmm. Present perfect. Yes. I have. Yes. Uh -huh. Yes. Va bien, va bien. I have. Uh -huh. I have seen uh, movies. Okay. I have seen movies. Uh -huh. One. What else? The mother, I. I have make mm -hmm. the homework. Oh, I have done. Done. Ah, okay, done. Okay, I and the last one. Homework. The last one, I to I, I have. I don't know. I have to review my mm, English. I, no. Okay. I have re. Okay. El presente perfecto, recordemos que es yo he. Ah, así es. Okay. Uh, but if we review, say. Oh, revisar, uh, how do you say revisar? Um, check. Ah, uh, check. Uh -huh. Okay. okay, I have checked my uh, my and uh, how do you anot annotation? My notes. Okay, I have checked my checked my note. Uh, my English note. Excellent. Very good. Okay. Present perfect, okay? Present perfect, yeah? Mm, okay, another one. Have you, listen to the question, have you eaten apples today? No, I have not eaten apples today. Have you gone to the beach today? Never, I haven't. I haven't. Okay. The last one. Have you played basketball today? Yes, I haven't. Oh. Yes, I have or no, I haven't. Uh, pardon. Yes, I have. Yes, I have. Okay, Carlos. Mm -hmm. We need to practice the present perfect. Yes. Yes. Okay. All right, uh, so in this case, um, the last question I have for you, uh, Vladimir, is um, are you okay with the dynamic of the class so far? Are you okay with it? No, 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 no. Okay, what do you think about the dynamic of the class? Uh, it's very interesting because uh, I like your, your class uh, because to practice with the grammar, with the speaking, and the listening. Okay. It's very interesting. Okay, all right. I very like your way, your English class. Okay, Vladimir. Okay, I'm really happy that you like uh, our class. Okay, so uh, the main purpose is you learning. So I hope Yes. Vladimir, you learn this module and you at the end of the module say, right? Hey, I did learn. I learned a lot, right? I improved my fluency. Yes. So I want you to please, and I'm going to call out your name more often, okay? So you can participate more, okay? Yes. Okay, Carlos. So right now, Vladimir, we are going to stop right here. Do you have any question related to the platform? Something that is not clear? Do you have any issues with the platform? I don't have questions. Okay. All right. So right now we are going to stop right here, Vladimir, and I'll see you back tomorrow. Okay?
Thank you. Thank you. Good, Good night. night. Good night.